This is in Everglades National Park. Really sad and disturbing pictures. We don't know exactly why this is happening. John Zarella is on the phone to hopefully fill us in with more information. Hi, John. Hey, Carol. You know, this, uh, it, it's, it's not common when they do this, but it certainly does happen. And where they are is a very, very remote area of Everglades National Park uh, on the West Coast. The fishermen spotted them last night. Several of the whales had beached themselves. Several others were still out in the water. And uh, for folks out there, you have to understand it is all flats out there. Uh, very, very shallow water in some places less than a foot deep at low tide. And even at high tide, you may not get more than three or four feet, uh, if that. So very easy for these uh, pilot whales to have stranded themselves. Right now, there are volunteers that are out there, National Park Service folks, uh, fish and wildlife biologists uh, are headed out to the scene, if not already there, to try and see if they can encourage the whales that are still out in the water uh, to uh, get into deeper water, uh, hopefully when the tide comes up, if it hasn't already come up. And they were able to manage to get some of those beach whales off the, uh, the, the, uh, the beach before they uh, expired. Carol? Well, well, how would they get them off the beach? That would seem to be an insurmountable task. Yeah, well, they're not, you know, they're, they're big whales, but they're not enormous whales. So they are able to, with enough people out there, to actually move them back into the water and try to coax them by holding them uh, up uh, to, uh, you know, to take their breasts and then to start swimming to deeper water. I've seen it done. It can be done. And, and it certainly is a tedious job. And sadly, in many cases, the, you know, these whales do expire uh, before they're, they've ever accomplished getting them into deeper water. But, you know, this major rescue effort underway now there, and it is a very, very remote area of the park uh, over on the west coast and really only accessible uh, only accessible by boat okay you said that biologists would try to coax these whales back into the ocean how do they do that well i mean it, it literally it's just by force they're they're grabbing them a bunch of people are holding them uh, they're trying to point them in the right direction. Uh, they, they try to hopefully orient them so that they can get them into deeper water. Once they get them into a little deeper water, in some cases, just literally walking them out to the deeper water. Uh, and once they do that, they are then able, hopefully, uh, to keep the whales going in that direction. But, you know, a lot of times, Carol, we've seen it where these whales just turn around. And, they just, and dolphins do the same thing and come right back to shore and re-beach themselves. And, of course, scientists, biologists are still, uh, you know, unclear as to what it is uh, that uh, ultimately leads to these whales and dolphins, you know, beaching themselves, whether it's viral, uh, whether it's environmental. Uh, nobody really knows what the cause is when you see uh, something like this happened. But, uh, but again, they're working very hard to at least try to save as many of these whales as they can. Good people down there in Florida. John Zarella, many thanks to you. Sure.